and uh, in the dressmaker, <coughs> the um, particularly the well, the, the two two costumes um, for Sergeant Farrett. One his police costume, which he would have taken in himself and adapted, uh, you know, slightly a, a much better version, haute couture version of of uh, of the police, the country cops uh, costume. Uh, very much about how he he is hiding himself behind the job, uh, the country cop, uh, but actually elements of himself, the particular nature of his of his character, the particular interest he has in 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 the fabric and the way in which something's cut and put together. That costume speaks volumes about him, and again was hot as well, particularly out in, in the outback. And then the matador costume, which was which he wears, it's like his breakout costume. He's sort of saying, "Well, this is who I really am." The flamboyancy within Sergeant Parrot kind of comes out at the end. He almost crucifies himself for Tilly. He becomes the sort of sacrificial lamb. I'm going to take all the blame for this, so she can survive, and I'm going to go off to jail. But I'm going to go out with a bang, and I'm going to wear a matador costume. So, again, fabulous costume that um, Marion brought in all the way from Spain and uh, it was a real matadors costume and I was kind of absolutely stunned by the the way in which the the it was like wearing armor it was like a Kevlar armor and it sat sort of slightly above the shoulders so I gave this incredibly you know heroic um, macho kind of uh, but cinched uh, uh, figure but actually somehow wasn't heavy, even though it's an incredibly heavy piece to put on. But it was like wearing armour, the structure of which lifted it off your own body. Uh, really kind of extraordinary.